My name is Yafit Becher, and I'm a product manager on Google Play, working on delivery solutions for game developers. My name is Andrew Giuliano, and I'm a partner developer advocate working to help developers be successful on Google Play. My name is Vitor Bocchetti, and I'm a product manager at Google Play, working on app distribution. We want to talk today about ways that Play can optimize the delivery of your game and improve the user's experience. So let's get started. Users have limited attention spans and want to play right away. So it's not surprising that any wait after discovery will hurt your acquisition fun. In fact, we know at Google Play that long waits are the number one reason for cancellations and lower engagement. At the same time, users expect an optimal game experience on any device they use. So you need to serve higher quality assets suited for many devices, which increases your game size. But as game downloads are getting larger, users need to spend more time waiting before they are allowed to start playing. In Google Play, we are continuously improving our app distribution features so that you can let your players into the game sooner without sacrificing the quality of your gameplay. In this talk, we'll provide further details about Play as you download, a new feature for Android 12 that was announced in our keynote. Next, we'll deep dive into Play Asset Delivery, which we launched in 2020, including some new features built on top of it and interesting partner stories. Let's start by talking about Play as you download. Built into the core of Android 12, Play as you download will allow users to get into gameplay in seconds instead of minutes. We are not talking about demos or tutorials, but the true experience within your game. Even better, Android and Play optimize downloads without the extensive changes to your underlying implementation, maximizing your ROI. We shared a demo earlier today during the keynote, and we are bringing yet another example during the session, showing massively improved user experience. On the left-hand side, you can see the current experience in Play Store, where we download the entire game before users can open it. On the right-hand side, you can see the new players to download experience in Android 12, where users can quickly open the game after we download its most essential content. Play will still download the remaining assets, but this task will happen in the background without blocking users unnecessarily. As you can see, Games can be opening seconds with this new technology, even if their full downloads are hundreds of megabytes. That's a massive improvement for users in a critical moment of the acquisition funnel, and we are very excited about this new feature. We are making this happen through innovations across the entire distribution stack, from the operating system kernel in Android all the way to Google Play service. And most importantly, the innovation won't require to change your game's implementation, as we said before. These automatic optimizations are generated through a four-step process. One, it all starts when you upload a new version of your game. At that point, we don't know how to optimize it yet, and we serve the full download to users as it happens today. Two, when users open the game for the first time, Google Play can identify which parts of the binary are needed during the claim pit. That's possible through innovation in Android, in particular, a new file system called InkFS. Three, next, we anonymize and aggregate such data, find the general trends and patterns across the Android ecosystem. Then four, finally, we have enough volume of data and we can enable optimizations for new users that have much smaller downloads. We know this is a big change to how games are distributed and to ensure a high quality experience for games and developers, we are testing with a number of partners. During Android 12 beta, we work with many studios from indies to majors and we are excited about the opportunities to lay ahead. In particular, we are very thrilled about the positive impact. Play as you download is at least twice as fast as normal downloads of this cohort. You may be wondering now, what do you need to do to test this new feature for your own game? It's really simple. We have three prerequisites. One, enable Play Signing for your game in the Play Console. Two, use that bundle and if you're relevant, Play Asset Delivery. And three, run recent versions of Add SDKs also if relevant. Next, you can sign up on g.co slash play slash su download. We are working hard to extend this feature to more developers as fast as we can, and we will keep you up to date. Thank you for your attention. I will now pass the word to Andrew Yafit, who will talk about Play Asset Delivery's trajectory since launch and its future. Thank you, Vitor. Play as you download is built on top of Play Asset Delivery, which we launched a year ago in order to address the unique challenges of large game distribution. Pad expands the app bundle format and offers free, dynamic delivery of all your game assets. With PAN, your user spends less time waiting and more time playing, as assets can be delivered and updated in the background by play 
before the game is even open. On Android 12 and above, Game Music Pad can automatically benefit from players you download, offering the ideal install to play user experience. Pad has seen great success with developers and many top titles are already using it. We'll talk about the many benefits our partners are seeing with Pad and share some unique ways they've been using it to optimize their game experience. We'll also go through some of the unique and exciting value-add features built on top of it. In case you have missed our announcement last year, let's quickly recap the benefits of Pad. First, Pad extends the Android app bundle, so it lets you publish a single artifact to play, including all the code and resources that your game needs. Secondly, when you use Pad to deliver your game's assets, it will always keep them up to date, just like it does with your game's binary. So when your users open the game, they already have the freshest binary and assets, and there's no additional wait for updating resources. Play's auto updates also takes care of delta batching, delivering only the bytes that have actually changed, from the version the user has installed on their device. Last but not least are Pad's delivery modes. That lets you control when and how Play will deliver your game's assets. Let's take a closer look. The traditional delivery option is to include assets as part of the initial install. And with install time delivery, you can deliver up to one gigabyte of game assets as part of the initial game installation. With on-demand delivery, you can also choose to have your assets delivered upon request throughout the game's lifecycle so your assets will be downloaded only when they are needed. The third option is Fast Follow, which triggers a download immediately after the initial installation completes and while the open button on the Play Store is already enabled. Now that we've gone through the immediate benefits of PAN, let's talk about some value-added features built on top of it and the less expected benefits you can get with PAN. One of the reasons we built PAN is to help mitigate Android device fragmentation. Text compression format targeting now in general availability, enables efficient use of device hardware without loading your game size. With Pad, you can package multiple sets of assets compressed by different compression format and rely on Play to automatically detect the compression format supported by the device, and then serve the most appropriate one to the requesting device, keeping your install size smaller and not wasting storage space with assets that are never in use. Cat Daddy Games, one of 2K Studios, recently switched to plastic delivery and adopted texture compression format targeting. It allowed them to improve the quality of graphics on devices that support ASTC without increasing the app size for other devices. They were happy to see how easy the integration was and that it required no changes. Or as they put it, we just needed to add the additional data file to our build and Google does the rest. But texture compression format support is only one part of the picture as the same assets do not run equally well on different devices. To fully optimize your game performance on a wide range of devices, you're likely to want to serve different quality levels of your assets. As things stand now, this would increase your game size and create extra overhead to determine which assets are the most appropriate at runtime. To help with this, we are working on a new feature called device tier targeting. Currently in closed beta, device tier targeting will allow you to serve the optimal set of assets to each device. So you will be able to create different quality levels of your assets and assign them into distinct tiers for each asset pack. You will then tell us which devices belong to each tier, segmenting devices by the RAM size, device model, or another hardware trait you might choose to segment them by. And that's it. Play will take care of the rest, delivering only the appropriate set of assets to the corresponding device tier, and allowing you to give your users the optimal experience of the device they're on. Okay. Now that we've covered the advanced features, let's change gears and go back to the basics of PAN. As you hopefully have heard, starting from August 2021, we intend to require new apps and games to publish with the new Android app bundle on Google Play. In the same time frame, we are planning to deprecate the legacy APK expansion files, commonly known as OBBs. While existing apps and games using OBBs will be allowed to keep using it, we encourage you to migrate to Play Asset Delivery a preferred and standard way to publish apps larger than 150 megabytes. Migrating from OBB to PADS install time delivery is as trivial and as simple as switching to a different build target. It is supported on the recent versions of the Gradle plugin, Unreal Game Engine, and our plugin for Unity. Unity games not using Unity's asset bundles can now also easily migrate to PAD using the latest plugin version. The plugin will take care of everything for you and will simply produce a single artifact that you can publish to the Play Store. With their game Best Fiends, seriously, we're running into the size limit for AAVs. They turned to Pad and were pleasantly surprised that it only took a couple of days to complete their integration. 
packaging their Unity Asset Bundles into install time asset packs. They found that install time eliminates the overhead of using WBs, allowing their creative team to have more freedom to deliver high quality assets that makes a great game experience for their users. As Ilka Halila, seriously CTO said, working with Pad is super smooth and it just works. Speaking about the installation experience, we know that many of you care a lot about the download confirmation warnings users see when they attempt to install a large app. Many developers prefer to avoid this message because they believe it is causing churn. First, it's important to remember that we only show this warning when the user is not on Wi-Fi and when the initial install size is larger than 150 megabytes. Games using fast follow delivery won't see this message is stored if their initial install size is kept below 150 megabytes. As in cases where the user is not on Wi-Fi, the additional download is deferred to up startup time. With this, the initial install time download won't require download confirmation. When the user opens the game, if the remaining download is larger than 150 megabytes and they're still not on Wi-Fi, they will then be asked to approve the additional fast follow download. Another important trade-off to keep in mind is between your over-the-wire size, storage size, and loading performance. Some games use sub-optimal compression formats to stay below 150 megabyte, but then it means that they need to uncropress those assets on device, which increases storage space and may hurt load times. With install time delivery letting you serve up to one gigabyte of game assets up front, you can make the optimal trade-off for your game and choose the best option for your users. Supercell, who recently migrated to play asset delivery, optimized these trade-offs and was able to cut their game size on disk by half, while only slightly increasing its download size. As we mentioned earlier, one of the benefits for using Pad is its built-in support for updates, including robust features such as delta patching and auto updates, all leveraging the power of play. This helps keep your users on the latest version of your game, optimizes the size needed for updates, and reduces the overhead work needed from you. CD Projekt Red was able to reduce their update size by 90% after switching to play asset delivery. Updates that used to take more than two gigabytes in size now typically take only a couple hundred megabytes by moving their assets to fast follow delivery. Using fast follow and background downloads, they saw an average reduction of idle wait time by eight minutes. As a result of this improvement for end users, they saw a 10% improvement of user updates and a 4.x reduction in uninstalls on day one of the new version release. We hope that this presentation showed how much we care about optimizing your game distribution and our commitment to help to improve your users' experience. We invite you to take full advantage of our delivery features and get your users to start playing sooner without compromising the quality of your game. If you haven't already, you should definitely get started with Play Asset Delivery and tap into the many advanced delivery features it enables, including the new Play As You Download we are all super excited about. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.